Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a little tech tip here that but um, in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you guys how to loop a creek boat. And I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, okay, you know, what's different from a creek boat than a play boat? I can loop a play boat. I could probably loop, uh, you know, a 9R, a Phantom, a um, Nirvana, you name it. Well, not necessarily, and I'm going to explain to you guys why the, um, the creek boats are a little different than, than a play boat. A play boat, obviously, you don't even have to put but about that much of the boat in the water. They're very short, very like wide with a lot of volume, a lot of knee volume, too. So they just go around. I mean, pretty much, if you just got somewhat of a loop, you can loop a, a play boat, especially a, like a rock star, jitsu, something similar to that. That's Those things are cakewalk to loop, actually. Flat water, whatever. But in a creek boat, what I started doing, I started looping like creek boats at a hole on the Ocoee called washing machine hole. If you can see the size of this hydraulic, it's got a very deep pocket right here. It's very violent if you get worked in it. So just so you know, if you're if you're going to try to like loop a creek boat, you know, you better have some hole escape abilities because if you get locked in there sideways, you're probably going to have to swim out of the hole or, you know, you get to practice your hole escape abilities in a creek boat. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys um, uh, a few techniques that I kind of like think about when I'm doing this. Number one, you know, line up. What I try to do is line up as straight as possible in the hole. And you've got, unlike like a play boat, you could be off a little bit to the left, the right, and you'll be fine because you'll turn it into like a Space Godzilla or something like that. What I try to do with a creek boat, I line up as straight as possible. And then I take, you see what I did there? I took one stroke. I took that one stroke and I kind of like held it as a rudder because I didn't want my bow to drift to the left or right. So one kind of quick stroke. And then watch what I do. I throw the paddle across and I throw all of my weight. Like I grab water with that right side and I'm actually plugging the boat down into the hole all the way to the cockpit so you see how deep that is and as soon as i feel that i go ahead and i and i let the boat like go straight up with me obviously the frame rate's not very high in this but as soon as i feel that load now you see how deep i am in the water now i put the boat the paddle straight in front of me like that and i jump as high as i can so i'm jumping off of the bulkhead and by the way you got to be really tight in your boat to make this happen i'm jumping and i want to jump forward i want to jump up and out and i want to throw my feet really hard i'm not going to break down the loop you know it's the loops kind of basic across the board and i'm you know there's ten thousand videos out there how to loop a play boat but not many on how to loop a creek boat if any so i'm just going to show you this is all power move in the back muscles here so that lower back's going to feel it after practicing a few you're really going to feel that pretty good so i'm going to throw all of my power into my heels right here and you see how quickly that goes so let's watch it in real time and then i blast across straight right there Wow, and then I get the, um, watch it real time there, load it, jump. And you see, if you get it, it goes really smooth. And by the way, you're going you're gonna to mess this up way more than you're going to get it right. That's for damn sure. Man, look at that. That's probably a solid seven feet off of the water right there. Yeah, so once you know you've got that hang time, now it's just a matter of throwing my heels around my head and landing it. And then once you land that stern there, it's pretty good. And then you just kind of like paddle off. And here's probably one that I missed. So here's another one. Watch this one. Um, load it. Yeah. You see, that happened probably 20 times before I got the one good one. So one thing is just don't be discouraged, guys, if you're trying to do this. Keep practicing. It's a good technique to learn because it will help you out on even creeks getting out of massive hydraulics. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much all I could tell you guys on this. I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave in the comments below if you've ever looped a creek boat or what you think of it, if you think you can do it. Let me know. Um, I'm always interested. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Week, week, week.